تاني اعزائي مشاهدي قناه النيل الاخبار بنحييكم من النمسا مدينه جراتس بالنمسا حيث يشارك البعثه المصريه للاولمبياد الخاص في الالعاب العالميه الشتويه في الهوكي الارضي والجري على الجليد في الحقيقه احنا معانا السيد تيموثي شرايفر رئيس الاولمبياد الخاص الدولي مستر تام فيرست اول لايك ويلكم يو از جيست تو ناين نيوز ثانك يو ثانك يو فور هافينج مي شكرا از بيجينينج وي ار سبيكينج اباوت سبيشال اولمبيكس وينتر جيمز اند هاو يو I think so far it's been fantastic. Look, here we have a whole Egyptian community in the center of Austria, in the center of Graz and Styria and Schladming. Nobody could plan, nobody could expect that, that Egypt would be sending athletes to the Alps to compete in winter sports where there's almost never any snow in most parts of Egypt. But here we are. Uh, it's a miracle that people from over 100 countries have come here to, to the center of Europe. Uh, people from places like Syria and Lebanon and places like Afghanistan and China and Japan and Korea and the United States and France and Mexico and Argentina. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, the strength, the perseverance, the unbelievable determination that has made it possible for each of these athletes to be able to make this journey here is, I think, almost miraculous. The uh, Middle East region is suffering with a lot of violence in Syria and Iraq and Libya, but in the opening ceremony we see a delegation from all these countries. How do you evaluate this and evaluate the role of Mr. Ayman and the hub in MENA region? Well, Ayman's done a fantastic job of growing our movement throughout the region and throughout very difficult times. Uh, many, many violent conflicts over the last 10 years. Many, many countries have had tremendous turmoil at the political level. But, you know, human beings still wake up in the morning. They still have to take care of their children. Moms and dads still look out for their sons and daughters. Children still want to play. So the fundamental energy that Ayman's been able to tap is that no matter what is happening, no matter what the obstacle, Special Olympics will persevere. Special Olympics now joining by many famous celebrities like Hassan Fahmi and the famous uh, basketball player. How do you see this step in uh, supporting Special Olympics goals? Well, I think it's wonderful to see some of the greatest athletes in the world. We have uh, Olympic boxers here, Olympic speed skaters, Olympic... Uh, uh, dancers, uh, you know, Michelle Kwan, I mean, people that are the greatest in the history of their sport. And they come here because they feel like they're coming here to see the greatest in the sport. Uh, this, is the, this is the riddle of life, you know, that we, just when you think there's only one person who's good, you look around and you realize, well, I don't, wait a minute, there's a whole other way of being great. When you come from the inside, when you carry yourself with grit, when you train hard, when you persevere with everything, when you leave it all on the court, no matter what, you have shown the world greatness, and this is what they all come here to see. How do you see that uh, Abu Dhabi will host uh, summer? Okay. Abu Dhabi will host I mean, summer. Sorry. Is that okay? Three, two, one. Okay. Abu Dhabi will host summer games um, after a few years. How do you see this step? Well, I think that, look, the maturity of the Special Olympics movement throughout the Middle East is a beautiful story. It's a story of positive developments, a story of tolerance, it's a story of inclusion, it's a story of empathy, it's a story of compassion. This is a story that needs to be told about what happens in the Middle East when the news cameras aren't there. Um, and Abu Dhabi will uh, welcome 170 nations, uh, 7,000 of the world's greatest citizens, all of whom have a huge challenge because they've been labeled by the world as having an intellectual disability. And what the world thought that meant was they were hopeless and they will come to Abu Dhabi to show that they're the greatest human beings on earth, the greatest representatives of their country. I think the planning is already underway. It's very advanced already. The facilities, the volunteer base, the political leadership, the corporate support, it will certainly be, um, I'm confident, in extraordinary games. After all this year, are you satisfied for what happened in all over the world for the athletes or not yet? No. Not yet? Not yet, no. <laughs> no. You need more. Uh, we need much more. We need much more understanding. We need much more uh, uh, contact. Uh, I want everyone to have had a chance to meet a person with an intellectual disability. A chance to sit down at uh, lunch or breakfast with a person with it chance to be in a classroom, or the chance to work alongside, until we have created moments of contact and connection so that each of us can have that personal chance to play together so that we can learn to live together. We haven't done our job yet.
what do you think about the unified games? It's, uh, how much it supports uh, the goal of the Special Olympics? Uh, the new frontier of the Special Olympics movement is Special Olympics unified sports. People with intellectual disabilities on the same team with those who do not have intellectual disabilities. This is telling the public, if you like sport, you can be in Special Olympics. You don't have to let it be for just people with a disability. It's for you too. Become a teammate, train together, play together, compete together, win together, overcome obstacles and losing together, become champions together. This is the uh, future of the planet. This is the most important lesson for, for our planet right now, that we can in fact live together. Unified sports uh, gives us the training ground to teach each other how to do this. And how do you see the Egyptian program at the end? I think Egypt is growing. Lots more to do, but many wonderful people who have given huge amounts of time and energy. Uh, and great frontiers of that. At the end, I would like to pay tribute to the soul of Jonas Kennedy Schreifer, the, crea the creator of these uh, Olympic Games, and would like to welcome you and thank you also for everything you've done for athletes. Thank you. Thank you for remembering my mother and the great heroes of Special Olympics Egypt, too, Magda Musa, who was a yes. pioneer of the Special Olympics movement in Egypt, gave her heart, her soul, her treasure to build schools and resources and Special Olympics activities. Uh, for our movement. So we have many wonderful champions pulling for us from heaven, I think. Thanks all for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.